They're coming. They're coming your way. They'll be here soon. Will you be ready? might already know this, but to clear this up for anybody who doesn't, Traumathon is a month-long event where I cover the spooky stuff that scared us as kids, be you from the 80s, 90s, 2000s, and if this series goes on long enough, maybe 2010 someday. But some people think I cover stuff that just scared me as a kid, which isn't true. In fact, that's a rarity. Most of the videos made thus far were either suggested by viewers this year or last year, or they're just things that I'd figure most of us would be scared of. It also gives me an excuse to sometimes to just dive deep into horror topics I'd otherwise never get the chance to talk about. Though there are some things that I'd love to talk about with you that I personally was affected by, so I hope I'm not being selfish today, but I want to talk about something that gave me nightmares, a movie that terrified me throughout my childhood that I thought for the longest time never existed. See, when I was a kid, my sister told me about this movie she saw with her friends one night. You know, she just came back home from, you know, going around town, hanging out and just chilling with them. And when she came back, well, she gave me in detail about this horror movie that really scared the crap out of her. Apparently, in this movie, there's these group of friends that got to some, like, museum or something, or something like that. You know, it's some place with weird artifacts or displays of some sorts. One of these artifacts just so happened to be a mask that possessed evil powers. But unbeknownst to the gang, one of the friends took down the mask and pretended to wear it, acting all silly and trying to creep her friends out. The curator, or the owner, of the museum stops them and scolds the young girl and forces her to take off the mask. But as she does, a piece of her flesh tears off and the mask's hooks clings onto her cheek and just tears it off. She screams out in pain and throws the mask at the man. Aside from it hurting her, she didn't think much of it until that night where she began to feel sick and starts feeling off. She begins to vomit and grow sicker and sicker as her skin gets paler and parts of her flesh starts falling off. Then, as her symptoms worsen, she ultimately dies and comes back to life as a zombie and begins feeding on her friends and the people around her turning them into zombies, and ultimately, it ends with the movie having a whole zombie army chasing down the main characters, which there's only like two or three left. I really don't know anything about this movie, nor if the movie even existed. Remember, what I just described was a description from my sister. I can't remember if I ever actually watched the flick or not, though I do remember certain scenes vividly, though this may be just caused by my vivid imagination when I was younger. I had nightmares about this movie a ton, and I really can't tell you why. Something about masks turning one person into some monster and infecting others, essentially creating a pandemic that kills almost the entire population of this town, I mean, that freaked me out as a kid, and I really couldn't get it out of my mind for a long time. I even had some dreams, and, and probably the same dream over and over again, of my sister putting on the mask and turning herself into a zombie, and eventually it changed from my sister wearing a mask to my friend friends, classmates, teachers, and past exes. I'm telling you, it really fucked me up, and to this day, I don't even really know what my sister was talking about, but every now and again, I still remember it, and I try to look it up. I've asked her a few times before, but it was so long ago that she can't even remember what she was talking about. First and foremost, I had to look for a movie that came out before the year 2000 because that was around the time she told me about this film and it was the last time we lived in New Jersey. My memory of the film was a little foggy, but I definitely remember her telling me this when we lived in New Jersey in that one apartment. I also really doubt it was a movie shown in theaters because I'm pretty sure she didn't go to a theater that night. There was a blockbuster just about two blocks away from where we lived, and the theater was almost a city away, so I really don't think any of her friends who were around 14 to 15 years old could really drive them all the way over there. So either this was a straight to VHS film, or more likely a movie that came out in the theaters during the 1990s or the 80s. 
It was on VHS, so it had to be either one. At first, I had assumed it was one of the Living Dead films by George Romero, but none of them were about a mask turning people undead. But then I thought, well, what if it wasn't a movie about turning people undead, but into something else? What if it were a movie about masks instead? I, I googled it at the time, and I got nothing. Absolutely nothing. This was around 2010, 2011. I don't know, I was still thinking about it even 10 years ago. And for years onwards, this has still bugged me. And I had no clue what the movie was. That is, until a few years ago, when my curiosity got the better of me once more, and I just had to find out what this film was. Anything. Just anything. Even a clue. And lo and behold, I found it. The goddamn film that scared the shit out of me as a kid. It's called Demons. And holy shit, I had no idea this was the film that she was talking about. Part of the reason it was so difficult to find, by the way, is because it's not an American film. It's Italian. And I was right about the mask. While it does exist in this film, it doesn't actually turn people into zombies, but demons. Though it's understandable for me to confuse the two, as the demons in this film can turn other people into demons just by biting or scratching them. And even though I know the name now for this movie and I've found ways to watch it, hell, it's available on YouTube in all its glory for Christ's sake, I still haven't watched it to this day. It's not because I'm afraid of it or anything, but I feel like it'd be muddying up something that I really cherished for a long time. In my mind, this film is already 20 times scarier than what it could probably show. And I mean, sure, it fucked me up for some years, but honestly, I love creepy stuff. It's why I do Traumathon. I love to explore scary media or anything unnerving. It's what fuels me, and it's the inspiration that I draw from. If I were to spoil something that haunted me for years and found out that it's not as spooky, maybe corny, and probably just shitty, then I think it'd just ruin me more than if I were to just stay curious. And even if it were better than I thought, I still cherish the memory that I have in my mind because, again, my imagination is vivid and wild, and whatever I can think of is probably scarier to me because it hits me personally than what this movie could probably show. It's kind of like my purpose now, and if I were to lose that, then what am I? I think sometime this month during Traumathon, I'll have some special movie night stream over on Twitch where we could all watch it, but right now I'm a bit exhausted working on Traumathon as it is, so I'll take a rain check on that and any other streams for the rest of the month. So I hope you guys understand, but my focus is entirely on making Traumathon as entertaining and as nostalgic as possible, and also probably being very creepy. So, yeah, probably no streams for a little while, but I'll keep you guys posted on Twitter if I ever change my mind. Hopefully, when we do watch this, it's as scary as I make it out to be. Because otherwise, man, I'm just hyping up this movie for literally nothing. <laughs>